Hey guys, Marco Cycle on FPV. Sorry, the noise in the background. We're going to be packing a few things up today. Uh, but listen, we're getting ready to build another frame, and this time it's going to be the Wild 215, which is right here. This is a TCMM Wild 215. So um, let me go ahead and do the picture in picture here. Let me set this up. One second. And there we go. Okay. So we're going to get started and we'll go ahead and take out the uh, parts. First, we got the landing pads, which we're going to hold on to. Um, we've got our standoffs right here. So let me go ahead and get these open. Uh, we'll set those right here in this area. And by the way, guys, again, if you're looking for a good solder mat, this is one of the best ones I've ever used. It's got definitely, it's got enough compartments here to put stuff in and hold them aside, which I really like. It keeps things from rolling away or kind of getting lost or rolling away at least. Uh, all right, so let's get the arms out. Here's the component. Here's the uh, sorry, the the pieces of it. That here are the screws. So let's go ahead and get this open too, and let's see what we got here. Uh, I like to put these in here actually. They kind of fall into these squares and they stay in place. Let's do that. <clears throat> Put the scissors away <clears throat> and start looking at the arms first. Okay, so on the arms, let's get the calipers ready and uh, we'll zero this out. And the uh, arms are a thickness of about five millimeters. That's pretty good. So we'll just check consistency. All right. Okay. Excellent. All right, these are very consistent, probably cut from the same piece of carbon fiber then, which is something I really like to check for. Uh, and I haven't shown that in the other part of my videos, but it is something that we do. Um, and I do want to see now how these lay out. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, they line up pretty good. Uh, yeah, they're good. This will be nice. All right. Uh, so we've got, uh, I assume, this is the first time built for me on this one, so I'm going to see how this thing is going to go. Um, but we've got uh, what, what I assume is our top plate. It's an interesting build. All right, top plate is gonna be about two millimeters thick. All right, uh, right there, it's it's ranging anywhere from well, about a little under two millimeters, uh, but I'm gonna say two millimeters for the most part. And then I assume this is gonna be the bottom plate and this is gonna be the same. All right, so two mil, two mil. Then we've got our camera mounts. Interesting looking camera mount. And again, that's a one and a half, okay? So these are the parts that we're working with today. And let's see how this goes, shall we? Let's put the caliper away. And let's see what we're working with on screws. We have, uh, let's see, the small ones here. And we've got some larger ones. I don't, I don't know if we've got any medium-sized screws in this build. So let's see, I can't tell. These look like they're actually two different sizes. So we do, we have three different size screws. So we have the, uh, we have the taller ones here. And, well, it's not gonna stand up, but we do have a magnet right here, don't forget. So you see how they'll stand up right here? This is why I love this pad. And you can separate them this way. So you've got magnet here, magnet here if you want. Uh, these are the same size. So we'll try to figure out how they intended for this to go. There is only one smaller one. This could actually be an error. I don't know, we'll find out. Okay, so on the frame itself, since I've never built this frame before, this is gonna be kind of interesting. Um, I would assume that they want this frame to go kind of like this, which is weird. Uh, let me see these standoffs. That would mean that there would have to be two different size standoffs. That would almost be the, the width of the arms. And it looks like that's exactly what this is. So these would be, uh, I guess, 20 and 25 millimeter standoffs. And the, this is a weird looking frame. Um, I guess that's why it's called the wild. All right, so looking at this, I would have to say that, um, how weird is this? So this is gonna go like this. So this would be the bottom plate because this is your 30-30s for your board. So this is the front and this is the back. Let's have fun with this one and see what happens. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the longest screws we have, we're gonna run them through here and we're gonna place the arms in here and I've gotta see now how they want the arms to go. So the arms can go, there's only, it would either go this angle or this angle. It's all gonna depend on where these holes line up. If I move my finger, okay, so it looks like the notch is gonna go this way. So let me go ahead and just put that on there and then place this on top. It's kinda of interesting. Okay, and then place this here. Let's try it a different way. Let's leave that like that. Let's just start putting these in place. Let's see if how badly I can screw this up. So 
All right, so I guess I'll just finger tighten this for now because it's just gonna fall over the place. So let's do one there, okay? And then what we'll do is we'll do uh, another one. We'll go to this side here. Okay, so I don't think that one short screw is actually a mistake. Now that I look at it, it would most likely be reserved for the center piece since it's not gonna go through a board, which would be right there. So let's take the next longer screw and get an arm ready. Let me see, how do I do those arms? Okay, so the arm went facing down like that. Is that right? Yeah, that looks, I guess that looks about right. Okay, so the next arm, we'll go here. And I guess if you were to do it like this, it may not line up. It would adjust the angle a little bit, but it wouldn't line up properly. So let's just go ahead and put the longer screw in here just to hold that arm in place and then bring that over. And now we can finger tighten this next insert right here. Okay, just enough to hold it in place. This is weird. Um, that's an interesting uh, layout of a frame. It'd be interesting to see how it does. Okay, so now we need to got to remember now this pattern that they're doing so okay so it would be this way so the longer edge goes on the inside so this would be the long. obviously the shorter edge will ink to the outside we'll try that and see how this comes out so the longer edge to the inside that'll be keeping it consistent with the other arm so let's put that one in just like that and send a long screw through again There, finger tighten this one. One, two, let's put that like that. Oh, holy moly, it's like a puzzle. Okay, so those will lock in place, so that looks good. All right, and then we got one more arm, shorter side out, so we'll put it in like this. Hopefully these are in the right way that they fit, and if not, then we'll know that it's the other direction. I don't know if it's longer or shorter now. Let's see. All right, I need to take this plate off so I can see what I'm working with here because it could very well be the other way then. So let's just see. And we're, I'm gonna make note of exactly which side I'm referring to as the longer and the shorter. So the longer side uh, is what I'm referring to as uh, here, right? And so this piece would have to fit uh, just like that actually. And it does, I think it does. I think it's just harder to do it when you're trying to fit it all in when you can't see it. So let's put this screw in like that, then let's put this arm on, like this, and when this screw fell off, so let's try keeping that on there, put this screw in, okay, now, since there's two ways to put these arms, I want to make sure that I get it the right way, okay, so this is what I've got now, and honestly, yeah, I guess that does work, so there it is right there, that seems to keep all the holes open, so I think that'll do it right there. It's just easier to do it like this, I guess. So let's now go ahead. Okay, so the only thing left though is going to be to see how tall this is, this piece here, because it would be this way, just like that. And then this, there. Okay, one. And again, this does fit a 30-30 and 20-20 stack. So that's pretty cool. They've made it a point to make sure all of that happens and fits well on here. So I'll give them props for that. Um, let's put in, we got a couple more to put in here. All right, and then one more.
Okay, now with the last screw, which was the shorter one, we're going to send that through the center. Somehow get it to fit through this center piece. There we go. And that's going to definitely put a stop on these arms moving. Let's just put that one down in the center here. And there we go. All right, so so far that looks good. I think we're set there. Now I am going to. I'm going to go ahead and try to tighten this down a little bit so I can get an idea. Okay, so this will come down. Yikes. Um, it did kind of strip the screw a little bit there, so I'm not so sure. I guess I just got to be a little bit more careful. But uh, let's see if we can tighten this down and then get an idea. Of, it looks pretty solid, actually. They, I mean, the angles are kind of weird the way they cut it, but when it all comes together, it's extremely solid. Um, so, so far so good. Just kind of like a puzzle. All right, again, that one kind of strips. So these screws are not, I mean, they're not the best. I will tell you that they, if you know, you, if you can get to our site and buy some of the screws we've got, we've got some really high end screws that don't strip it like this, but uh, still nonetheless, uh, it's working now. You just got to be careful, especially because these these will these are pretty strong tools, and they'll strip any of those pretty easily, I guess. All right, so we know the short standoffs are going to go on the back because this is raised. So let's go ahead and just get started by putting some standoffs in. And I'm assuming this is where they're going to go. So hold on, just drop that one. one one second. Okay. So let's try this again. And they've given you some zip tie. Uh, parts back here, uh, some cutouts so you can zip tie back here. Uh, they've been pretty good about that on their frames. I have, I have seen that and been pretty satisfied with it. Okay, and then let's go here. All right. Now obviously, this is our top frame, so we're going to see the next set was going to be up here, and then here, and then here. So let's go. Next set is right here. Do that next. And then we're going to stay with the shorter ones because this is five millimeters higher than the other one. All right, and now we're going to go with the taller standoffs. Um, where is my. Oh, here they are. Okay. I'll go ahead and take these out as well. These are going to be your nylon parts that they gave you. Might as well go ahead and just put these off because we're not going to really have a chance to get back on this. So once I close it up, so let's do one, two, three, four. Now we'll go ahead and put the fasteners on as well so we don't lose them. Two, three, and four, okay? Um, and again, you do have a spot for your 2020 stack, so uh, if you wanted to use one on here, that'd be fine. All right, so now we're gonna use the long standoffs, the taller ones, which are a five millimeter offset of the short ones because this is going on the lower part of the frame. Okay, now as far as this goes, I would assume it's going to go this direction. So let's do this and let's do, uh, but it usually sits lower, I think. So let's go this route. All right, and then let's go this route. All right, now that being said, we'll now put the top piece on. Pretty nice. Uh, Pretty, pretty thin, pretty narrow frame. There we go. 
everything's now on, so we'll just put the last bit of screws in, and this frame is done. That's it. Oh, and you know what? Today, okay, so today is the 19th of December. It is Thursday. And today at 11 o'clock, we are closing on our new land. Uh, the first portion, which is a little over eight acres, and this is all for uh, drones, uh, actually for vehicles in general. So you'll be have an off-road, um, you know, you'll have your RC cars, your planes, your, your uh, uh, we've got a pond there, so you're gonna have for your submersibles uh, and your drones and everything else. Uh, outdoor about, you'll have about eight acres, eight acres, uh, eight and a half acres, of which four will be um, sectioned off exclusively for racing and for competitions. Uh, the entire outdoor area is for flying though, so the whole eight acres is. Plus you'll have two, uh, I believe it's gonna be two 10,000 square foot buildings um, for a lab for students and adults, a training center, an FAA uh, training center. Uh, also our new uh, UVTCA, which is a new company that we're getting ready to open, it's called the Unmanned Vehicle Training Centers of America. And that will be a certification program that we're putting together. So all that stuff, and we're signing it at 11 o'clock, and then we begin uh, that work. So it's pretty exciting. All right, so the frame is done. I'm gonna go ahead and put these, I usually don't put these on, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because I end up with a bunch of these now laying around the shop, and I don't want that. So let me go ahead and put these on, then we'll get a total weight. And we'll see where we're at. All right, so there we go. Frame is built. This is the Wild uh, 215 by TCMM, one of the new frames that we're carrying here. And let me get the scale now. Let's see where we're at. Okay. So let's first zero the scale out. Make sure it's calibrated. I'm gonna grab a 50 gram, 50 gram weight. Okay, it's exactly 50. Oops. Uh, and we'll try another one just in case. This is 20. Exactly 20. So we know we're dialed in. Let's put the frame on. Frame is exactly, oh, what was? It's uh, 99 grams. So we're gonna say between 99 and 100 grams. There we go. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, so we'll stick at 99 and a half. All right, so that's a new frame, guys. Um, it's, it's pretty strong. It's got five millimeter arms. Uh, it's pretty neat the way they've done it. They've laid it out this way. Uh, it definitely has room in the back for more stacks right here. So you've got a, let me make sure and verify what that is. That is a 20 by 20 stack in the back. So you've got 20 by 20 and 30 by 30 up front. And then you've got a 20 by 20 in the back. Plus you've got plenty of area to mount other things here. So this is actually a pretty cool option. Uh, it's a unique, definitely a unique design, but I mean, these arms aren't moving. So I will give them props for that. Uh, all right, well, that's pretty much it. So let me put the scale back. Again, guys, this is on our site. You can find the link in this video at the bottom there in the description, uh, or just go to cyclonefpv.com. Please, as always, if you have any questions, email me at tark at cyclonefpv.com. And then uh, also, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, it always helps to have your support, okay? Uh, other than that, guys, Christmas is coming up. Uh, Merry Christmas to all y'all. God bless you guys. Uh, make sure to spend time with your family, guys. You don't know how much time you've got, so make the most of it, okay? Put the drones down and go have some fun. Outside of that, uh, we'll see you soon. All right, see you. Bye.